starts out. Good, bad, and different. Where do you sit on the uh, line with this one? Where do you sit on the fence? You gonna buy more Bioware stuff? You not gonna you gonna buy DLC? Whatever your choice, you have my respect for holding to your beliefs and going with them, whatever they are. For me, I'll just get right to the brass tacks of it. The extended cut is what should have shipped. That's my personal take on it. Now, getting into the extended cut, um, my biggest gripes with the original endings was the illusion of choice was broken. Um, things like 14 lines of dialogue to explain, you know, probably 300 plus hours I put into two games, um, plus the DLCs that I have purchased. Um, being told within game that all these decisions will matter to in the conclusion of the series and the originals didn't placate to any of that. Um, within the ME3 ending in and of itself, the plot holes were probably my second biggest issue. Uh, why are the squad mates that I had with me in uh, running towards the beam in London, why are they with Joker at the very ending scene? That makes no damn sense. Various aspects like that. Uh, why is Joker running away to begin with? Now, the way that the extended cut works, the clarity and closure line is actually what I think would have been very helpful to the original endings. So, uh, the biggest aspect and the biggest fan feedback add that adding that I can find so far. I've only played through twice. I've done the Destroy with a 3300 EMS and um, the new edition, which is, you can tell the catalyst where to go. <laughs> and I appreciate that edition that does show that the fan feedback was at least listened to and even added to. So uh, the 14 lines of dialogue not being used to explain the entire series of the game uh, series. Um, the flash scenes when you finally just choose an option it actually shows the right love interest you know stuff like that that really kind of broke the immersion for the game I'm glad that they fixed uh, so I'm going to try to keep this short but those are some of my original gripes uh, I was more in the clarity closure group um, I'm not going to lie it's not perfect it's not the perfect scenario, uh, situation for you know those that want the quote unquote happy ending or various other aspects um I will say, damn you for the spec lots of speculation on the Shepherd is breathing scene still, but I can deal with lots of speculation on the, the Easter egg on that one. So. <laughs> At the end of the day, uh, Chris, Jessica, you know, Mike Gamble, um, you, you know, for those that will rag on them, uh, for even Casey Hudson and uh, Mac Walters, you guys went through a lot of crap. I've been, I've been a fan for, uh, you know, you know, good old Bubbers Gate days. So, long time fan of Bioware games and their story writing and the way they handle character development. Character development was something I always felt was the right thing that was handled fairly well in ME within the universe of itself. So, you guys have taken a lot of crap, a lot of flack. Some would say some earned, some not. And, you know, it, it's a matter of opinion in that regard. But at the end of the day, I can say f for me, thank you for actually really listening to the feedback. Because that's what a lot of people are worried about. And within that, telling the catalyst where to go, you proved you listened. And you acted. So thank you.